Hello, free calculus students. This is Mr. Rainsburg here with your digital learning plan for the week of May 11th through May 15th. Now, here is what we have going on the week during the week. We have lessons 7-0 and 7-1, two lessons this week. 7-0 is a review lesson of completing the square with quadratics. That concept is used throughout chapter 7, so we spend a day reviewing it for it. So Monday, I would start and actually complete 7-0 on Monday, the notes and the homework for it. Tuesday, I would upload a Schoology, but then I would start the ellipsis lesson for 7-1 on Tuesday to give myself three days on it before the quiz. And I'm going to spend live instruction on Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 9.30. If you click on the link where for office hours usually is, I will teach for 30 minutes the formulas behind ellipses and visual patterns, and then the same thing. Well, I'll go over some more examples on Wednesday during that live instruction, and same on Thursday. But I would not get behind. I would spend Monday completing seven zero notes and homework, upload it right away on Tuesday, and I would start looking at the seven one notes on Tuesday for it. Get familiar with all the formulas that there are for ellipses, and then have Wednesday, Thursday to get better at it. So the homework assignment that is due this week for a grade is the 7-0. You can see it highlighted on Tuesday. However, on Thursday, if you upload the 7-1 homework by Thursday at 11.59 p.m., you will get some bonus points on the quiz that will be given on Friday for ellipses. So 7-0 homework, you're uploading that online like you normally do. The 7-1 homework, if you want some bonus points on your 7-1 check-in quiz on Friday, upload it by Thursday at 11.59 p.m. So continuing on with the homework, I will post the homework solutions to 7-0 Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. And I will post the homework solutions to 7-1 Friday morning at 8 a.m. Any homework assignments uploaded after the solutions have been posted will receive no credit. So you can see the calendar, 7-0, get that done on Monday. Start 7-1 on Tuesday. Get some help on Wednesday and Thursday. You can see a pace in there for you to help you out. Live instruction opportunities are from 9 a.m. to 9.30, Monday through Thursday. I would come to those to hear some better explanations and to get some one-on-one -on -one assistance and be able to ask questions during the instruction time. So here is the Schoology page for you, so you can take a look at it. There is the link for the live instruction starting off Monday. We are in week eight for it. I opened this up actually yesterday. You have a formula sheet. I actually did not open that one up to the side, so I'll do that now. So here are the formulas. I said, do you want to spend a day getting used to the visual pattern formulas? Here are all the formulas for 7-1. Um, it looks like a lot, but the lesson will show you how to find those very quickly and the visual pattern that goes to them. And then here's all the formulas for 7-2. So I would print that formula sheet right away. You're allowed it on the quiz, and I would use it for the problems. And you see when you click on the week 8 folder, it opens up to two folders. It's a little bit different now because we have two lessons during this week. You have the review lesson of 7-0, but it's still set up the same way inside. A step one, which is video notes, and step two, which is assignments and turn and tray. So you have the video, you have the notes on it, and you have the turn and tray. And you have the due date on there, Tuesday, May 12th by 11.59 p.m. And then you have the 7-1. You have the guide and notes there for 7-1. We can take a look at those. You see it's a very visual graph, and we go through definition, and you have all the parts in your lips. You have the formulas. Look at that part on the right side, understand the formulas. I'm very big on trying to understand what all these formulas mean visually. It'll help you understand how to use them more. And the way the notes are outlined are kind of the way you are going to be assessed on Friday. Uh, the first concept that we'll be assessing is can you identify all the parts of an ellipse and graph one on it? So you have those problems right there. And then the second concept is, can you complete the square of an ellipse to put it in standard form and then identify parts from there? That's the second concept that's going to be on your quiz on Friday. The third concept is, can you write an equation of ellipse when given information about some of the important points on that ellipse or important parts on that ellipse? So there are three concepts outlined in this lesson. 
on them. And these three concepts are important for your quiz. It's really what we're trying to assess in the end. And your homework is kind of the same idea. It's outlined by your concepts there as well. Identifying all the parts and graphing. Completing the square. On a writing an equation. So we're trying to be crystal clear on what that quiz on Friday, what concepts it's going to assess. Notice I'm not saying what questions, but what concepts it's going to assess. And you have the assignment, and there's that bonus turn and tray for you. That if you get that 7 1 homework done, and let me actually click on it because there is a stipulation for it. But if you get that 7 1 homework done and you turn it in by Thursday at 11 59 p.m., you will get bonus for that quiz that will be on Friday, May 15th. Now, the stipulation is if you turn in the 7 1 worksheet completed and with at least 90% accuracy on it, you can earn two bonus points on the quiz. Now, this is not just, oh, I turn it in, I get the points. They must be at least 90% accurate, which means you're going to want to get help during office hours, come to the live instruction, ask questions. You don't just want to upload it and say, I'm done. You want to make sure you have the concepts down on it. So this is a chance for you to get some bonus on the quiz on Friday. Now, this quiz on Friday, it is not open for you yet. It will not open up till Friday morning at 8 a.m. When you click on it, you'll be taken to this screen, and I would read this. This is a 60-minute quiz, which means you need to have it completed. Hit the Submit button by 11.59 p.m. If you start this quiz at 11.40, you are only giving yourself 19 minutes. So this is a 60-minute quiz. It's even written on the digital learning plan. And you need 60 minutes to do it. So you're going to want to start it really before 11 p.m. on Friday. Um, it's timed. Now, this one's a little bit different. There is multiple choice. You're used to that. There is matching. There is also drag and drop questions where you'll be dragging information into the appropriate places on them. So before you begin, make sure you have a writing utensil. I would have graph paper. I would have my calculator. I would have my formula sheet. Advice, and I will send out another advice video before um, hopefully you take the test on Friday. So I'll probably hopefully send out by, um, maybe I'll do it Thursday night. Organize your work on the paper. I would identify H, K, A, B, C for each problem that will help you with the formulas. And then know the formulas and how to use them. Know what they mean visually. You have 60 minutes and good luck. And you have a cartoon underneath that to kind of make you smile. Math humor, so much fun. So week eight, two lessons, print the formula sheet. First lesson, I would get it done Monday. I know it's due Tuesday. I'm giving you an extra day, but I would get it done Monday. I would start 7-1 on Monday. To help you out, if you look at the videos, there is the notes. There's a video of the notes, but there's also a video of formula help. I go through on this how to recognize the visual pattern in the formulas that is crucial on it. It is used throughout conic sections. So if you can spend some time getting some help on the formulas, I would watch that video as well. So you have the plan for this week. If you have any questions, please reach out and ask.